XCOM is a, uh, you know, it's a really beloved franchise and it's one that, um, you know, personally means a lot to me. It's a, it's a game that I treasured years and years ago and so it's super exciting to be able to come back and um, sort of reinvigorate the franchise with a, with a new entry that really uh, adheres to the tenets of what made the, the original games so special. Our telling of XCOM is an origin story. It's about experiencing the origins of this organization from a, from a really zoomed in and boots on the ground perspective. We really wanted to make you feel like what it was like to be one of the squaddies in the original game and not the all-knowing top-down commander. Past games were all about a global um, UFO defense agency, a kind of task force made of the best of the best from across the whole world uh, who were supposed to repel an alien invasion. Uh, in XCOM, our game, which is its own kind of new origin story uh, that follows its own timeline, uh, X XCOM begins as a United States federal task force um, built out of intelligence officers from the CIA and DIA. Their job is to repel an invasion from within the country. They're being infiltrated and they know it. We've taken a lot of the, the mythos that had been previously established and sort of reimagine it or re-engineered it, like sort of the very small, humble roots of the organization before it became this globe-spanning you know, globally funded anti-alien defense force. We wanted the aliens in XCOM to be unique and be compelling and surprising. Portray them not as your, your archetypical nasty, snarling monster alien, but by um, sort of looking to um, a, a very technology-based aesthetic. One of their primary goals in being here is actually to terraform our world, to transform it into something that, for them. At first, you see small little signs, like small little bits of cancer sort of starting to grow and form and grow in our world um, and it seems very kind of jagged and sort of uh, very disruptive but that's because it's youthful and, and, and our world and our world are very much like like oil and water or like you know kind of like matter and antimatter they kind of fight each other but eventually what you see throughout the game is eventually their world kind of wins and starts to grow and become more this cubic you know, perfect kind of pristine um, um, version of, of their own home world. But a lot of the places that you're going to go are, are kind of half and half. They're, um, they're what was um, a pristine and uh, vibrant American community, which has now been, um, you know, or is in the process of being actively terraformed by alien technology. The XCOM um, of our game is a kind of unconventional organization by the standards of the time. Um, it has an idiosyncratic thinker that puts it put it together and is specifically looking for people who are compensating for some kind of disadvantage. So you'll, you'll find a lot of the core cast are not necessarily what people think of as an invincible G-man. Uh, they, they have a different background or they come from a, a politically more sensitive uh, sort of demographic. And uh, over the course of the game, you get to you get to know why that was, why why the character who put it together uh, thinks that that's necessary. The base is really the hub of XCOM as an organization. Um, it changes and evolves over the course of the game. It's some place that you return to after every single mission, uh, and it serves as both a sort of story and social space for you to have conversations with other characters, learn more about the world of XCOM, uh, see how people other people are reacting to the war as it progresses, and really immerse yourself in in the world of 1962. Um, but it's also your main hub for gameplay. You will um, obviously manage and recruit agents. Agents are your extensions of your willpower out in the battlefield, your buddies that you use to combat the alien threat. Um, you'll be upgrading their powers, leveling them up. Uh, it's very sort of RPGs. The research area, for example, is where the scientific staff live. You're able to engage in the research economy through spending uh, Illyrium on various designs. Um, most of them are based on a captured alien technology, and so uh, Dr. Weir helps you understand what the sort of strengths and weaknesses of each of those tools are, and you get to be the one who decides which ones you want to take. Or the map room run by uh, Angela, uh, where you can survey all of the different emergencies that are currently taking place in the U.S. where XCOM might be dispatched. When you go and uh, use the map, it'll be populated with a variety of, um, of opportunities, um, which are the missions that you can go on. Imagine it like an RPG world map, where quests, you know, come and go. Uh, there's primary quests and secondary quests. There are backbone missions that drive the plot forward, and there are uh, dozens of other kind of strategic opportunities that pop up. And if you take one, you may lose the other. The uh, country itself will start to change over. You'll see where the outsiders have encroached across the map of America, where you've lost territory, where it's been fighting back. So it, very, it has a very sort of dynamic feel of the ebb and flow of the front lines. The primary impact of uh, choosing one mission over another is economical, meaning it affects the core player growth curve. You can decide to invest in this piece of research and not that, or this agent power and this agent upgrade, and let another one atrophy. As a result, uh, individual players can kind of customize uh, the, the, the sort of array of options they've got in the field uh, based on 
th those choices, the choices inside the base. Uh, there's also like little mini quests in the base. There's sort of like side quests that go on, so you'll interact with the different characters, learn more about their stories. The central characters of the game, you can go and talk to them, and uh, you'll have dialogue options, and uh, you know, you'll be able to basically mine out as much of the story as you want by engaging in these conversations. XCOM is a story about some real people, some people with flaws and conflicts, and they're thrown into this situation against a, you know, essentially overwhelming enemy that, um, you know, it, it's, it's difficult to tell if they can even be defeated. And only by assembling the, the, you know, the brightest minds, the smartest people that the world has to offer, are you even going to have a hope of defeating this enemy.